How to make a shirt in Roblox. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Roblox tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make your own shirt in Roblox. So if you're looking to make a shirt or t-shirt in Roblox, by the end of this tutorial, you'll have one made. All right, so to get started, the first thing we need to do is simply open a browser and navigate to roblox.com. Go ahead and log into your account. Once we're logged in, all we need to do is go up into the top menu and select create. And then when you select create, if you see the studio come up like this, you'll see start creating at the bottom. Go ahead and select manage my experiences rather than selecting start creating. Once you select that, that'll bring you to your creations on Roblox. And all we need to do in this left menu here is go down and select either shirts or t-shirts, whichever one we want to actually make. So I'm going to select shirts. And now that we're here on create a shirt, it's important to note that in order for you to upload your shirt to Roblox, you're going to need to have 10 Robux in your Roblox account. So now what we need to do is download the shirt template from Roblox. And we do that by just going up above browse where it says download it here, select that, and then you'll see the template. From here, we can simply right click it and select save image as, and then just save the template. So now we just need to edit this template and then we can upload that as a shirt. And I recommend using a really easy to use free tool called canva.com. So you don't need to download anything to be able to edit the shirt. Check the description, I'll have a direct link down there. Once you get to canva.com, create an account or log in. And once you're in your account, go up and select create a design. And then we just wanna select edit photo at the bottom of that. Go ahead and find the Roblox shirt template we just downloaded, open that up. It'll upload it. And then we just need to select use in a design right here. Now that we're in Canva and we have the template uploaded, the areas right here that are labeled front, down, things like that, these are going to be where your shirt is at. So as you can see, we have the actual torso up here, and then we have the right arm and the left arm. So we can start editing these by first going over to elements in the left sidebar. And then once we select this little square right here, you'll then see the square appear over the template. And we now we just need to drag it over the template, make sure that it's the size of the actual torso. And then we can drag that to cover up the torso. From there, we can change the color of it. So I'm going to use a blue and then we can do the same thing to cover up the up and down portions. So I'll grab another one. And make sure it fits just over the template there and drag it all the way. And if you need to make any adjustments, we can zoom in a little bit just to make sure that it fits all the way. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you're over the line and you can't see the template anymore, it should be fine. So now all we need to do is add any images or textures that we want to. And we can do that by simply going over to elements. We can look up all kinds of things. So I'm just going to add this icon right here as the back of my shirt. And then I'm going to add a Gaging Gadgets logo to the front of my shirt. So now we can start working on the left and the right arms right here. And we can do the same thing by going to elements and then just grabbing the square here, moving it in and covering up those sections just like that. So my arms will be red and my actual torso of my shirt will be blue. So we can add any of these things such as graphics, stickers, even photos to our shirt over here. Now, if you want to add some texture to your shirt, what I recommend doing is going over to elements then graphics and then going to gradient. So they have a ton in here that we can use. I'll use this black one. And all we need to do is just move it over our shirt sleeve or wherever we want it. And then as you can see, there's some texture on that. From there, we can duplicate this and simply move it over to the other arm. Once you're done editing and creating your Roblox shirt, to save it to your computer so we can upload it to Roblox, all we need to do is go up on the top right, select share, then go down to download, and then you want to make sure that it is a PNG. From there, just select download, and then you can save it. Once we're done creating our shirt, we can go back to Roblox, and you should see the create a shirt section. And what I recommend doing, rather than actually uploading on the create a shirt section, you'll see a little yellow banner that says that they're migrating this page to the creator dashboard. So go ahead and select here to go to that page. 
And then once here, all we need to do in the top menu is select avatar items and then go to shirts. From here, we can simply select upload asset, make sure shirt is selected, select upload, find the shirt we just designed. You'll see it uploaded there. Go ahead and give it a name. You can even give it a description and this will help it if you plan on selling it and then select upload at the bottom. Now keep in mind, we are gonna to have to pay 10 Robux. So go ahead and select upload and then confirm that you wanna spend 10 Robux to upload your shirt. So select upload and it will take you back and you'll see your new shirt right here. From there, if we wanna change the name or description or list our shirt for sale, all we need to do is select the shirt and then select on sale. Now we can set a price for our shirt and keep in mind that Roblox keeps 30% of your price. So if I make my shirt 10 Robux, I'm only gonna get seven Robux from it because Roblox will keep three of those. So once you're done, go ahead and select save changes. And now we have created our shirt and listed it for sale. Now to wear our t-shirt, we just need to leave the creator dashboard by going back to roblox.com. Then in the left menu here, select avatar. Once you get to your avatar, you'll be able to see your avatar wearing your new shirt that we just designed. All right, so that's how you make a shirt on Roblox. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Roblox tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.